Hello, my name is Shana. I'm a children's librarian at LA County Library, and I'm accredited to provide positive parenting. Now, we are going to go over parenting tips. Lesson nine, realistic expectations. Ooh. <laughs> so a couple reminders about realistic expectations. Children are not well behaved all the time. So you can, you can feel better about yourself. Oh, I was at the grocery store and my child was tantruming. They're not always going to be well behaved. It's okay. So I think sometimes we need to remind ourselves of these as mantras to, to not feel bad about um, if, if we're doing good job parenting or if our child is easier than, than say their older sibling. We, we can remind ourselves these things. It's, it's okay. Um, so they learn at different speeds. Again, you can't compare one child to another. They are different kids. Problems arise when we expect too much. Sometimes children take longer to learn things than we expect, or they have a bad day. Have realistic expectations for yourself as well. And again, I want you to think about these and repeat them to yourself when they are applicable in your life because we do tend to be hard on ourselves and if you just remind yourself of say say your child is doing a behavior you don't like think about if you are giving your child realistic expectations um, i do this a lot in story time with toddlers uh, not all the kids are um, listening some are bouncing about maybe one got up and picked something up from their classroom and is playing with it they're toddlers. They are learning the skills of being out of story time. And my realistic expectation is for them to um, just do the best that they can. They don't have to sit the whole time. So always think about uh, where, like, give yourself a little bit of credit and a little bit of leeway. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So some examples of realistic expectations. Asking a preschooler to carry up a laundry basket up the stairs. You don't even think about it. You're like, oh, can you, um, can you carry your laundry up the stairs? And then the child is unable to carry it and it falls and all that clean laundry falls onto the ground into the cat hair and now it's dirty again. You might get upset. Oh, that was clean laundry. But then you have to think, wait a minute, did I ask them to do something that wasn't super realistic? And then calm yourself down. It's okay. It's, we will get through this. Uh, another example, asking a teen to cook when you never taught them. Maybe you asked them to cook something, they did it wrong, and then you get frustrated. You're a teen. I was able to do this when I was your age. How come you can't do this? But then remember, did you teach them? Have you gone through asks they do or whatever you need to do in order to teach them these skills that you are asking of them? If not, you are placing an unrealistic expectation. So think about um, the bigger picture and not just your immediate reaction in these scenarios. Um, or for yourself, expecting yourself to juggle work and childcare all the time and getting um, unable to, and feeling very overwhelmed and frustrated instead of asking for help, that's unrealistic. If you need to ask for help and say, hey, can you watch the child while I go and do this chore right now? And it might not be something you're comfortable with, but it's something that you should do because you, you un, it's unrealistic to try and be able to juggle all of these things at once. So always, always ask yourself if you're getting a little frustrated, was this a realistic expectation that I had and how can I think about it differently. We hope you have enjoyed positive parenting tips. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now!